How's it going guys? So if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, you've probably missed a lot of big updates. So the last time I updated you guys here on YouTube, there has been 70 materials added to the real time materials add on. And I'm going to show you all of those today. Now, I first want to give a big shout out to just 3D things. I brought him on officially now as a contributor and all of these new materials were designed and created by him. He's a genius. He's incredible with procedural materials. Again, real time materials is 100% procedural and I saw how incredible his work is and I asked him if he'd love to contribute. Um, so credit is important. He is getting credit for all of these. He did such a good job. Follow him on Twitter, follow him on Instagram. All that is linked in the description. So 70 new materials. So the first 10 materials is carbon fiber. These are super cool, super versatile. I have a lot of fun with these. Next is cloth. These may be some of my favorite materials that have been added. We have 20 cloth materials, all very versatile tons of control and you'll be seeing that in a little bit. We have 10 hex materials. These are really cool. Just again, hex, simple idea, but these are really cool. There's a lot of different variety in this pack from some tiles to sci-fi to some sound panels, things like that. They're really, really cool. Something that I've wanted to add to the pack for a long time is terrazzo. Terrazzo is a pattern that I see all the time in restaurants and bathrooms, different things like that. You're seeing a lot of interior design, exterior design. It's everywhere. It's very simple, very pleasing pattern. Today, tiles were added. Really cool. A lot of variety in this pack. We have 10 brand new tile materials. And lastly, something I've wanted forever, just high quality wood materials. So we have really good wood flooring materials and you'll be seeing those right up. So I mocked up just a simple bathroom scene. So we have some of the uh, tiles here, terrazzo and cloth, but I want to show you the cloth because those are really fun. So right over here, the Real-time materials pack exists on the end panel. So let's go to here to cloth UV. Now very important, some of these really complicated patterns do require you to use your um, an, un an unwrapped model. So if you see a uh, group that says UV, you'll need to unwrap your model to use these. If they don't say UV, no need to unwrap. Like Terrazzo, you don't need to unwrap for that. Uh, so yeah, let's go to cloth and let's go and pick, let's go pick the really basic one just to kind of show you the most basic options here. So this is it, we have an unwrapped kind of folded towel seam. And just as a reminder, every one of these materials are totally compatible with Eevee. Of course, everything looks better in cycles. So we're gonna look at these in cycles. What's really cool is we have this really nice color variation slider as you see how cool that looks. And then again, we have two sets of colors. So we can go blue here and um, we can go yellow. There we go, look how cool that is. Now we have this really nice beach towel. Um, then we have some really interesting ones like the knitter. So we can add that material and we'll just go ahead and make a a new one here. So we have the knitter bands. So this one is really, really nice. Um, it's one of my favorites. It just looks natural. It looks really easy to look at. Again, we do have that color variation if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and stick away from that. And then we have dirt. So you can actually add your dirt scale. So if you wanna have a dirty towel, look at that, we have some dirt. And then of course you can take that dirt completely off. I like to have a little bit. You can also change the direction of the pattern of the cloth which is really cool. If you need that, if you want that, if you have a very specific need, you can do it. And then of course, we can change color to whatever we like. Uh, but again, we just have tons of these. We even have an interesting weave pattern. Um, we can go ahead and bring that scale up and it has transparency so you can actually bring that gap up and you can see straight through this. So very cool, love these. Um, let's go ahead and check out the tile materials. So we have, all right, so let's go ahead and check out some of these tile materials. So this is the, just the simple white marble tile. And let's go find the tiles, the UV tiles here. Let's go with a crazy one. Let's get these uh, bathroom tiles here and uh, scale it here. So we have this and do we, we do have color control with these fun looking tiles. And then we have some ornamental looking ones, which is really fun. So we can just bring that to a proper scale here. We have this nice gold. And then of course we can change the mortar size. Really, really fun. Let's show one more. Let's just do the basic tiles here. It's really nice because you do have pattern variation. So if you want to do just a basic pattern here for the tiles, basic color, you can. Um, or you can go ahead, add some color variation, make it look kind of 80s. It's really, uh, it's really simple. Really nice, totally procedural, so you can 
go ahead and change this scale to whatever you want. It's really powerful. You know, there's a time and a place for image textures and there's a time and a place for procedural materials and you can kind of pick and choose. Uh, Real-time materials lets you have that power. So that is that, oh, let me show you these. The broken tiles are really cool. So you can go ahead and pick however many uh, broken tiles you want. You can add more broken tiles here. Uh, you can add cracked tiles if you want. So you can see how there's some cracked tiles here too. And you can bring up the width of those cracks as well. You can just type in a value, bigger cracks. Um, you know, just super cool here. Um, we do have terrazzo. Now I love having this kind of terrazzo backsplash here, um, but it's really cool. So let's go find those terrazzo. We have quite a few and they have their different properties for each. So let's just look at this crazy, weird looking orange. So we have four different colors that we can change. So we have the, if we kind of look at this closer, we have primary distortion. So now it looks very straight edged. You can kind of distort that here. You can play with your pattern gaps. You can make it smaller. You can add missing patterns to make it much more minimal. You can add more tiny pieces again, adding more of a minimal feel to uh, your scene. Uh, then we have clear coat roughness. We have base roughness. There's a lot of power and customizability. And this one's cool. You have all these little streaks. So if you want to, if we get a closer look here, you have this level of detail here. Bring that pattern gap down to make it look more reasonable. Uh, but you have these beautiful streaks in here. So you get a lot of detail. So all of these have different features, different components, and they're really fun to work with. So let's check out carbon fiber. This is something I've wanted for a really long time. And uh, Just 3D Things was just able to knock this out of the park. So this is kind of a, I uh, can't remember if this is like a, a buggy or a Formula One steering wheel. But regardless, this is the carbon fiber material. So let's go ahead and find that carbon fiber right here. So here we go. So let's go ahead and use this crazy one on one of these. Let's just use it on this base. So we have this crazy one here that has these light up portions and let's bring that scale up too. Again, these need to be unwrapped with this carbon fiber. You'll definitely need to harness your, your UVs, but check that out. And then you have your emission strength right here. You can make it much brighter, much darker. So we have a couple of those, like we have another sci-fi carbon fiber here where you have these parts that light up. So let's go bring that to a more reasonable size. But yeah, we have this kind of sci-fi carbon fiber. Very simple, very simple. But we have ones that you can give a lot of color variation to as well. So say you wanna add something a little bit more interesting, you absolutely can. You can do that here with our colored carbon fiber or we have a solid color carbon fiber here. Just one color, this one's more of a locked in looking one. So say if you just want dark blue, which is real. I didn't know you can actually color carbon fiber, but I was looking at some supercars. You can do that. So if you have some Lamborghinis or whatever that you want to texture with carbon fiber, you can do that. And you can also take off the clear coat and expose it. In fact, it looks really cool on one where the clear coat is much more obvious. So let's say you have this and you have that clear coat. Well, you can actually take that clear coat off and expose it. And now you have like totally exposed carbon fiber. So you have a lot of power with this, really customizable. Each one kind of has its own strengths and weaknesses. This one looks a little bit different than the other one, more of a, a square look. But again, you have a lot of power, a lot of control, and these are just super fun. Here's another one with some lights on it, some sci-fi carbon fiber, but really cool. I love, 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 love the carbon fiber. All right, let's talk about these wood materials. Uh, so you're gonna go down here to the wood materials and check it out. I'm gonna go here and view this here in cycles. So we have, let's go ahead and use one of these cross. Look at that. So we have some really nice looking wood materials and you have plenty of editable components to these. The color is not editable. So that's why we have so many different colors here with the wood, They're pretty complex in the background. But if you want more colors, send me a message on Instagram, send me a message on a blender market and we'll go ahead and add that if you want like a specific one in the pack. Um, we do have, you know, this crisscross pattern, uh, but you can go ahead and play with your height variation on these as well. So it's very subtle difference here. You can change your uh, pattern angle. 
really, really cool. You can have you can play with your roughness min and max. So you can see how we have a lot of detail in the roughness. That's gonna be your min and your max. So you can change that. You can make them much more contrasted or you can make them very subtle. So you have a lot of that. You also can play with your grain roughness with that. Um, really cool. Let's go ahead and check out the wood flooring. So this is our wood flooring materials. Really love them. I've already used them on quite a few projects. We can go ahead and bring that scale up. You can see how this looks. It looks really, really nice. Uh, and you can play with your pattern shift right there. So you can play with your pattern as well, give you control there. So you can play with the width of the pattern. So again, totally customizable. Have all of these nice wood materials. Got this nice red, what would you call it, like mahogany or something. Definitely got that wrong. But that is the wood procedural wood materials. They're super cool, super fun. Um, and I think that wraps it up for the new materials that have been added. So, so far there's been 70 added and there are so many more that we're gonna be adding to the real-time materials pack. Development is not stopping, having a lot of fun. Oh, I forgot hex. Goodness, good thing it's on the floor here. Um, so we have a lot of new hex materials. So we'll go here to hex. Uh, we have that kind of hex tile here on the ground. We'll just go ahead and get just like a general HDRI and then I'll hide the uh, wood material. So we have that. Let's go ahead. This is my favorite one right here. I love this one. So you can play with that. Really, really cool. Um, we have the sci-fi hex materials. We have these that light up. Let's see, we have the marble hex, which is really cool. Really good for different like bathroom designs, all that stuff, even kitchens. Uh, this one has, you know, you can play with the color on this, play with the scale. Let's go back to, let's go to this one and show you how much these things can be edited. So we can go say it to a white or a light blue. And then you can go here, play with the rounding. So you can make them really sharp or really rounded. You can play with the border, which is really dope. And then you can play with the wave scale in this particular one, have some fun with that. Um, and then you can play with the roughness as well. So that now that that wraps it up thank you guys for watching um if you already have real-time materials and you do not have these go back to blender market or gum road go to your downloads or it's i think it's called orders or your downloads and get the new file it automatically updates on those sites you just download it uninstall the old version in blender reinstall the new version and you're going to have all these really cool materials um, and all updates are free after you purchase so if you want to check it out if you don't have the pack, hit the link in the description, check it out. Hope you like it, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.